gonna give your faith, your faith, <laughs> it's gonna lift your faith. A warm terracotta, terracotta, <laughs> a warm terracotta. Hey guys, welcome back. So got Friday favorites and foodies for you today and overall I would say this was kind of like a girly, glowy week. Like those are my favorite looks to do. Like I really enjoy this look and just kind of like the glowy inner corner. So most of my favorites kind of follow that theme. So yeah, girly and glowy. So let's get to it. I do have something on my nails again this week. It's this really pretty kind of like purpley kind of a color. This is the Ciate London Paint Pots and this is in Spinning Teacup. So yeah, I got this in my Ipsy bag and I don't think that video is up yet, but it will be. But I thought that was a really nice thing to come in the Ipsy bag. So pretty polish, it applied well, it was even, it was easy to work with and it's been wearing really well. So that's a win. Pretty much been wearing this little palette the whole week. This is the palette that comes in the Laura Geller for the Love of Chocolate set that they sent me. I did a video on that on Monday. So if you want to see more information about that, you can check out that video. And they are going to be on this weekend, like I believe starting today on QVC. So talking about the set and other products. So if you want more info, check out my video, watch them on QVC. I'm going to watch them because I like, it feels like girl time. I like girl time and QVC beauty stuff and HSN feels like girl time. So anyway, I've been wearing this pretty much the whole week. It's just a cute little palette that looks like a little chocolate bar. That's adorable. I've mostly been reaching for the kind of like rosy color, this kind of like, I don't know, brown color of some kind. I don't even like tanny brown. Like a light chocolate brown color is what I would describe it as. So these are the main ones that I've been wearing um, this week. Now I've been wearing it with kind of some glowy things like either something metallic or shimmery or glowy on my lid, but that's just my personal preference. Like I like kind of glowy makeup. So I wear mattes every day, but I always use them in conjunction with something more shimmery and you know, metallic or something, but I did wear them by themselves in that video. So if you want to see what they look like by themselves, you can check out that video. And I did like the way they looked. I thought it was a really pretty eye look, but my personal preference is I like a little bit of glow. So I've been wearing it with some glow, but I think it's a super cute palette. They blend well. I found that they wear really well. I always use primer, so I'm not sure how they would do without primer, but I always wear eyeshadow primer. So with primer, they've been wearing really well on me and it's really cute to look at. I've been grabbing for some more of my Makeup Geek shadows again this week. I just kept this palette out and was still playing with it. So the two that I really enjoyed the most this week, I'm wearing this one today. This one is In the Spotlight and the other one is Grandstand. These are both uh, foil shadows and I have one other pigment that I wore this week that I've got on that I love. So In the Spotlight is just a beautiful like light peach color like a glowy, oh my gosh, this is so pretty. I have actually haven't tried this as a highlight. This would be a wha-bam highlight, but I bet that would be amazing. I mean, look at that. <gasps> it's so pretty. I have this on my lid and it's just a beautiful, like light metallic peach. It's amazing. And then the other one, Grandstand, this is like, I don't know how to describe this. This is more of like a traditional kind of metallic color is what I would say. Oh, I still have Laura Geller on my finger there. Um, this is kind of, it sort of reminds me of like L'Oreal's Amber Rush or something like that. Like it's kind of a rose gold. It's probably a color you might have in some other brands, but that one's a really good one right there. It's super metallic, super shimmery builds on itself really well. Like I wear them either foiled or sometimes I apply them with my finger. Sometimes I just use them dry with a brush. They're gorgeous. And what I have on the inner corners of my eyes is one of her duochrome pigments. This is in Mood Ring. And I believe that this comes in a pressed version now, which I would probably get the pressed if I had a choice. Um, Cause I think they're supposed to be the exact same color. Like I don't think there's any difference between them, but this one is just a little bit messy to work with. So as far as packaging, um, I mean, it's a pigment pigment and pigments in general are just, you know, a little bit more cumbersome to use, but this color is so incredible and just 
funky, fun, and cool. It's like a silver with a strong pink shift. Like I feel like when I look at it like this, it looks more silvery, but when I get it like on my eyeballs and it catches the light, I see a lot more of that pink, but it's so cool looking. I, don't, I wanna get it where you can like really see it. Like right there, you kinda see the shift. I think it's amazing. It's just a really interesting, different sort of a duochrome. So cool. And every time I wear this, I usually get asked about it. Like most every time somebody will ask me, what is on your eyes? Like I love to wear it on the, my inner corner. I think that's like really just a an added something to the eye look. So it's really beautiful on the lid too, but just popped in the inner corner I think is a really cool effect. For blush this week, this is probably no surprise whatsoever, but this is the Laura Geller Baked Blush and Brighten in Cherry Truffle. This also came in that set, and this is my favorite thing in that whole set. This blush is so pretty. I do have it on today, but I have a highlight I'm about to share with you as well. But this blush, this is gonna be a strong statement, so be prepared. This is really kind of like in the realm of Benefit Rock Tour and Wet n Wild Rose Champagne, where it's just one of those blushes that goes. You know what I mean? It just goes. It's an easy blush. It's gonna like, it's gonna like just complement makeup looks, but not detract from them. It's gonna give your faith, your faith. <laughs> it's gonna lift your faith. <laughs> It's gonna give your face some color and I don't know, just like some life to it, which I love that balance where it's like a little bit with, it's that balance between it goes with your makeup look, it doesn't detract from that makeup look, but then it also gives your face some color and you are wearing just some color on your cheeks. So I love that fine balance. And this just has this beautiful, I mean, you see more of a glow of my highlight, but it does have a little bit of a glow to it. So it's kind of like just a warm terracotta kind of a color. That's really the best description I can think of for it. A warm terracotta, terracotta, <laughs> a warm terracotta, but it is so beautiful. I love it. And then the highlighter that I have on with it that I think pairs just so beautifully with it is the Urban Decay Afterglow Highlighter in Fireball. First off, I love the packaging on this. It's like mirrored and then it has the little window and you open it up and it's like a little meshy kind of a look. So pretty packaging on it. This is the one, I do a whole review video on these if you wanna see that, like swatches and just hear more of my thoughts on them. I do have that on my channel, but this is the color I thought wouldn't work for me because it's darker and it's warmer and just kind of a super unique highlight. I mean, this is just kind of a funky highlight. Like it looks more like an eyeshadow to me, which this is a pretty eyeshadow as well. I've worn it that way as well. Um, it's just kind of a different sort of situation. It's like a peach with, well, it's like a pink with a peach shift. I see more pink and then a shift to peach. So, isn't that just kind of different? Like not a highlighter you see as often. I feel like highlighters are really kind of like, I don't know, evolving and that they're all different colors of them and shifts to them. There's blue, there's purple, there's green. There's just a lot of different like funky highlighters out there now, but I feel like this was kind of, you know, towards the beginning of that trend, towards the beginning, not way before, but still in the mix of the trend, but one of the first. I think I'm just babbling. <laughs> For lips this week, I broke out another one of my Maybelline Creamy Mattes. This is in Clay Crush. I feel like I have just been loving my Creamy Mattes and my Loaded Bolds and just my Maybelline lipsticks in general. I always love them, but I feel like I've been grabbing for them consistently, like almost every single week recently. Clay Crush is one of my very favorites. It is such a beautiful, terracotta, warm, dark, nude kind of shade, or like a light brown, however you want to describe it. It's a terracotta. It's like just a gorgeous, warm shade. 
and I feel like it's a little bit 90s, it's a little bit funky, you know, if you pair it with a certain kind of makeup look, it's a little bit edgy. It's such a pretty shade. I love this one. I feel like it's a super unique kind of color to find in the drugstore, so I love that about it too. I always love the formula of these. I always kind of forget to comment on the scent because I use these so much, I'm used to the scent at this point, but it's a very kind of like Play-Doh-y, Play-Doh, baby powder, maybe, kind of a combo. I actually weirdly like the scent at this point because I've used their lipstick so much that, you know, like I've grown to love the scent. So I like the scent, but it is a funky weird one. So I kind of always forget to mention that. So funky weird scent that I kind of secretly like, not secretly because I just told you, <laughs> but I love these lipsticks. And these have pretty much just lived in my purse this whole week. These are from that Laura Geller set as well. This one I actually had to go grab out of my purse. I'd come in here to film. I was getting everything set up and I realized I was missing this lipstick. So I had to go grab it out of my purse. So first off, the lip gloss. Um, this is the Color Drenched Lip Gloss in Cafe Olay, and I'm wearing it by itself today. In that video, I was first wearing the lipstick, and then I put the gloss on top of it. So today I'm just wearing the gloss, because I thought it went better with this kind of like pinky inner corner. So Cafe Olay, I can't get over the scent of this gloss. It is so good. It's chocolate, it's coffee, it's amazing. It just smells incredible. And this is a high pigment gloss. So I mean, you don't even have to wear this with anything else. I mean, a lip liner maybe if you wanted to. A lot of times I wear a lip gloss with a liner. I'm not today, but a lot of times I do that because it just gives my, I find that I like to give my top lip a little bit more shape to it. So a lot of times I wear a gloss with a liner. So I might do that with this, but other than that, that's just a personal preference. It's super pigmented, pigmented, so it doesn't even, you know, need anything under it. Just a beautiful kind of like warm, rosy pink. It's gorgeous. I find it to be really comfortable. Um, it's not, I mentioned this in that video, I'm kind of repeating myself, but if you didn't see that video, this is new information. It's not super sticky at all. It's not sticky, but it's not, um, super super smooth where it's gonna go away quickly it's kind of in between i would say it's got a little bit of something a little bit of something so it does adhere and stay a little bit longer so i like that about it um and i think it's just a beautiful color but the smell is probably my favorite thing about it because it's like i love the smell of coffee and I love the smell of chocolate, so it's that combo. It's so good. And then this lipstick is just such a pretty color. Really nice packaging to it. It's like weighty and it's magnetic. It's just, it feels fancy. This is in Chocolate Raspberry. I'm starting to kind of like wear down the shape of it, so I'm liking that better. I'm finding it easier to apply now that I'm kind of like, it was very scoopy, which they're designed that way on purpose, but for me, I found it more difficult to use. So I'm wearing down the, the scoopiness, so it's, it's getting easier for me to apply, but I just love this color. It it feels very like, I don't know, kind of fall, but kind of 90s too. So I think that's why I'm loving it so much because I'm getting excited for fall. I'm ready for some fall temperatures. I get excited about the holidays and football and family time and I just love the fall. So I'm excited for the fall. So it has kind of like a fall feel to it but also it has that kind of like 90s, you know, brownie lip kind of a look to it. I really, really like that. I would just describe it as kind of like a terracotta brown color. That's really kind of how I would describe it. But it's beautiful, it's comfortable. It wears well for how comfortable it is. Like, it does not fade quickly on me. Like, I wore it at Sephora and I mean, until I started eating, when I ate, it kind of wore away. But before I started eating, it was still wearing well, and it had been four hours, I think, that I've been wearing it. So I think it has good wear time for how comfortable it is. It's a beautiful color, too. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. No fooies, just all things that I was loving. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you were loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!